welcome to this special documentary we call Bridging the Gap Part 2. It's all the story of Maxo Nyakonde. Remember five years ago, the Prophetic Healing and Deliverance Ministries identified this gentleman along the Mukuvisi River. He was uh, very, very much downfounded, a person who was diseased. His health was so much affected, but uh, through the healing and deliverance uh, led by Prophet W. Magaya, he was located and assisted until his situation returned to normal. We're talking about Max Onyakonde as we head to Mavuku. Today, uh, Prophet W. Magaya of the Prophetic Healing and Deliverance Ministries shall be officially handing over uh, that household to Mukoma Max Onyakonde. Uh, but uh, just a brief background of uh, the life of Mukoma Max Onyakonde. For five years, he was living on the banks of uh, Mukuvisi River. This is a river contaminated with all sorts of things. Talk about industrial waste, human waste, and so on. So what happened is the prophetic healing identified the gentleman and um, took him to the medical practitioners who ensured that his condition is brought to normal. But today, uh, Prophet W. Magai says it does not end there. This gentleman shall be officially handed over his household. And we are passing through Mavuku, a very industrial area, an area full of uh, various people who focus normally on industrial activities. So this is the shopping center where part one of this program took place. Hampers were distributed by the men of God as well as Mother Magaya to various members of society. This is not our port of call. We are just passing through the shopping complex as we make way to the new household uh, from Koma Maxo Nyakonde. Indeed, sunny day, I must say, as hundreds of people from all of lines have just joined the ministry to partake in this noble exercise. Remember, uh, those food hampers which were distributed, those members are not members of the Prophetic Healing and Deliverance Ministries, but were randomly selected by the men of God as they are very, very needy. As we pass through Chengawose, Wose, this is Mavuku, and it is indeed a very, very powerful day, I must say. In a couple of moments, we shall be officially handing over that house to Mkoma Maxwell. This is Bridging the Gap Part 2. It doesn't show at all, but through you, Jesus, my end is perfect. My emotions are all over the place. Well, it's the 12th of August, and thank you so much for joining us. Remember, this is a special production. Special, because this is the day we officially hand over uh, that house to Mkoma Maxo. A brief background of who Mkoma Maxo is. Mkoma Maxo was identified by Prophet W. Magaya of the Prophetic Healing and Deliverance Ministries along the Mukuvisi River, and he had a bad ailment when it comes to his skin condition. That was treated as soon as the man of God laid his hands and today Prophet W. Magaya has a special gift from Ukoma Maxwell. He wants to officially hand over the keys of a special household. We are in Mabuku and today is the 12th of August 2014. Let's now witness this special handover ceremony and whilst you are waiting for the special handover ceremony uh, hundreds if not thousands of people are trickling in to witness this special event which shall be done by Prophet W. Magaya as well as Amai Magaya. This is just a community excited, a community which is so much taken aback by the happenings happening here. They are anticipating what exactly is going on, what exactly is going to be done. So we wait to see what's beyond the gate. Officially, it will be officially handed over by the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya. As you can see, it's number 70, and we are still in Mavuku. A lot of people from the community, this was not an official uh, recognized event, but people started to trickle in just to catch a glimpse of what exactly is happening. So, Prophet Kapikapikaya.
Yeah, uh, there you are, massive ululation. It's all his. Mukoma Maxwell has been given that household, and uh, Prophet W. Magaya is now unlocking the gate, followed by my Magaya, Mother Magaya, as well as Prophet getting into the residence just to catch a glimpse of what's happening. Uh, Prophet Magaya handing over the keys to Mukoma Maxwell, giving a couple of instructions to the family, ensuring that uh, his welfare will be taken care of. And uh, indeed, this is his house. Definitely, the man of God says, please ensure that you maintain the deliverance. And the man of God says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amid massive ululation from the family members. Well tiled, beautiful house painted in white and uh, the family members are actually in disbelief as the men of God as well as Mother Magaya walks out of the house. This has been a very historical day. It's not my Korokoto. Congratulations. Amtlope to Mukoma Maxwell. Mukoma Maxwell now having some greetings for his family members. Remember the prophetic healing and deliverance ministries saw it fit to change the life of Mkoma Maxwell. It's not only the life of Mkoma Maxwell, but it's all about depositing into the lives of uh, various people of society. And Mkoma Maxwell, family members are totally in unity when it comes to this special day, the 12th of August 2014. A very memorable day in as far as the national calendar is concerned. Now the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya. So various people have come to witness this event and a massive ululation. Many thanks go to the man of God, Prophet W. Magaya. But there are some people who also want to say a couple of words in as far as this event is concerned. Mkoma, mungati chiko, nechitiko chaiti gabo. Zinu zaganaka zaituwa ni munu amwari Prophet Magaya. Dogo kuru zilao tidai uwezo wano na mata. Wano na mata wazipa spa spi moyo. Wako wane moyo unu kwansa kubatila sema batila ita Mkoma Magaya. Tunakutenda hicha hizo. Andrazi, eh, mashoko maviri matatu, amgade kupa muri yose kati tarisa. In as far as this event is concerned, what are your words? Okay, I just want to say thank you to the prophet. Because I was very well, 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 their calls are for Mabuku to be fully developed and Prophet W. Magaya, we say many thanks to you as well as the Prophetic Healing and Deliverance Ministries. So from Mabuku, we say bye-bye. Today is the 12th of August 2014 and a very memorable day in as far as the national calendar is concerned. An important day in the life of Mkoma Maxwell. Now his relatives were also here just to catch a glimpse of what transpired this afternoon. So that we just find out how they feel in as far as this gesture from the Prophetic Healing and Deliverance Ministries is concerned. Mai tino kuchinga miza ipa chirongwa ende tuna kunzo homa shoko maviri matatu kubva kwa muri pane chitiko chaitika mzwara nas Inini ndiri muningina wa Maiva Max ndakapesira kuona Max 20 years ago ndichiri musikana ndisati ndambororwa ndiri amai nini vake muningina wa amai vake ndinoda kuti enda kuna prophet Magaya vakakwanisa kuwana mwana we mukomo wangu akangofa achitaura achiti andi zivi kuti muchamu wana here as in the dream, and I got on Borota, and did it tender prophet Magaya? The cat would go now, my young girl. Mamanda wrote and did it tender prophet Magaya, but and this could see Vacuti, did you go at tender? Chandrukova tender at and scoot on Bochisiva. As in the Rudakutenda Mari, Zaganga Zin and Zira Newaro, 
Mba musoro pekuda kwa Max, ndino tenda mwari, ndino da kutenda Prophet Magaya. Vagona kundi sanganisa, ni mwana we muko mwangu, ndisiri mupenyu, nyama ni mwea, tujitiri kufema. Ndino tenda mwari, ndino tenda wano besuwe PhD. Vagona kutengita, mwana we muko mwangu. Ah, ndino kutenda, andisiwe kutenda, ndino kutenda, ndi chiti kudi. Mwari waka naka, mwari waka tendeka, magona kundi chengete roo Max. Nagona kuono Max. Maxi, asisi swangu waso, awana kumuana, asindi nuko tenda mari ni 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 kwanza kuana Max, ndi siri po, ndi siri kuraram, dino da kutenda Prophet Magaya, kasinga pere ni msitara Jesus nchi tayme. Yes, those are tears of joy. You can hear from the voice, full of emotion. But we are still speaking to various family members of Mkoma Maxwell. Um, Baba, mashoka muna o, in as far as chiti kocha itika chinde kutu kudini ko. Ina angwa ndi naka wanda. Indonesia mukawasha anda zogu fara zogu di zano angwa anda angwa zogu di variko asi nda kazo zogu fara nda wasangana na wo ndoto mwaringa rambaga da asi naka wande kutor dukona pasai dipavo there is a woman as well who is a close relative she also has some words to impart in as far as this incident is concerned amai mashoko kumurinde kuti kudini ko ndi ni chakuta anga dotin damari. Vakai tot prophet magave mumuno mu munjimbo ye water force ndida kwa tenda mwari ndoramba nchungo warumbiza ende ndokusotenda mwari nekuone kwa kwetu mkoma max ndinongoti mwari muriko mwari munogona Right um Koma Maxo is the one appearing on your screens right now he's the gentleman who used to stay along Mukovisi river he's also the gentleman who the prophetic healing and deliverance ministries led by prophet W Magaya identified and saw it fit to assist in as far as this household is concerned asi amai eh chitiko chaitwa muzvara nasi chipanasi paitwa official handover yemaki kuna Koma Maxo muno tikudini ko I didn't want to go and and I take it. We must go to Angu. I want Repetition for emphasis, she said that for 20 years, Mukoma Maxwell was nowhere to be seen. And she truly salutes the Almighty Father for this gesture. This event will never be erased in as far as memories are concerned. But there's a special woman who has also important words to impart in as far as the life of Mkoma Maxwell is concerned. Let's listen to Gogo. She also has a couple of words to say. Gogo, mashoko kumurinde kutukudini go. Ndino fara kia isu, ndino tenda, nekutenga kwese, kuti shirambe shakaita sayi, shirambe shakadaru, kana ninu ndiringita kutu na matandiri koko. Anga makore manga niko msati maonana. 20 years. 20 years. Ende kupiwa kwa maita imbai na Prophet W. Magaya. Zanyaso kubata ipapi. Zanyaso kubata ipapi. Zanyifadza. Zanyifadza shukurusa. Kutimuarika. Ndaramba kangodaro. Achi mchengete za sima chengete na wakulini. Arukuita. Neni wa ntukuto chengete kwa o. Na mwari. Nishiwona jini msukuru wangu blai. Asi ntukutu kwa kufara. Nkati memoyo wangu. So. The man of God visited this place. He officially handed over the keys and Mkoma Maxwell is a proud owner of a house in Mabuku. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this special humanitarian program brought to you by the Prophetic Healing and Deliverance Ministries led by Prophet W. Magaya.